Hello, good evening. Welcome to new episode of Rose. So frustrated. <laughs> so, so guys, did you see the news? I think it came out yesterday, and I almost was gonna do it yesterday, but I was like, you know what? Like I told you before, the video. I'm regulating sleep, so I have to go to bed early. Okay, so, so anyway, so Jared. I'm special. I'm Jared. I'm a prince. I'm better than you. There are things I don't have to do. Mm -hmm. Because you are little people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am much better than you are. I am Jared, the legend. The evil impersonated. <laughs> so, okay guys. So really, basically. Okay. So the New York Times said that Jared, ex not just said, it provided evidence that for, I don't know, was it 2006 until 2006? It was just like 2009 through 2016. He paid no taxes, income taxes, okay? Because there's all these legal, um, these loopholes, okay, um, in related to real estate. So Jared, he's better than you mm -hmm. because you know what happens? Jared, uh, Jared doesn't pay income taxes. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, and by the way, this I've said in, in the reading, all these readings that I do, especially the bigger ones, like the more intense ones, like the ones about the future, America, whatever, it show that reading showed that everything that the bottom line the bottom line here is it's all about taxes. So the super, you know, Trump and company don't want to pay taxes. They they probably have cheated on taxes forever. And that's also something that the, the Koch brothers love. You know what I mean? So it's like this crew of people who they just feel like they're too big to, to pay for taxes. So, so she don't say, I thought that, that article made Jared really look good. He's lo beloved by the population. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, if you speak up for, for Jared, you get... A discount on the straight or hell bus <laughs> yeah so anyway so that's that so so the questions I have guys are is what it because it, unfortunately and this is maybe I didn't read no I'm gonna ask here unfortunately these, these loopholes appear to be legal but I feel like the pro the issue is that he 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 if you wrote down real estate is having depreciated in value, I believe, okay, or depreciation, something like that, then you could get away with it. But I don't think, if anything, that actually the value of real estate went up, right? Because that was right after the recession. So I don't know how, how legal it is, okay? So so let's ask what's legal about it if he's going to get into some sort of trouble as a result of that. I'm sure, guys, he has committed too many crimes to get away with anything, but I'm just kind of interested in this. Okay, because that's like, I mean, that tells you, we already knew he's, he's a, it's a garbage, but. I'm better than you. How are you? Do you know who I am? I am Jared. I am the angel of death. <laughs> I fly to faraway places. And then a few days later, people die. <laughs> oh my God, that was creepy, right? So, yeah. Guys, no, seriously. Huh? It's creepy. It sounds creepy because he is creepy. <laughs> so, so that's that, guys. Oh, my God. I, I think I'm going to do cards. Okay, because I'm too scared. A little scared <laughs> to go straight to versions. All right. Okay. Okay, guys. So, the question is, will Jared suffer consequences of this at all? Okay. Of him... The fact that, okay, so the first question, was this legal? Okay, I believe it said yes, but we'll see. Oh, interesting. Jared, <laughs> very smart. Very smart. Guys, this is, this is Gifingis. That's prison. Very interesting. And this is gift, receiving gifts. Look. This is nice, guys. Right? The beautiful colors. You can see very well. This is my, this is the phone. Okay, interesting. So this is Gishing Pikumen. That means receiving gifts. And military. Now, military person, it means obviously law enforcement, but it also means rules. So, so illegal receipt of money. So, something that I suspected it's, it's highlighting here is this idea that 
I think a lot of those, the money laundering that happens is when someone else pays the debt. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There's something legal here because there's a, some sort of receipt of something else. There's something else in these taxes that would make it illegal that we don't know about yet, okay? I think. So let's see more here. Oh, look, domestic. Well, that's a helper. Somebody help. We are the world. We are the children. Oh, you want the help of Jerry? That looks like him. I love him. Uh -huh. So, okay, so what else? Oh, look, so Speedy, that's longing, wanting something. He needed, that's right, he needed the money. My, 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 oh. Oh, look, a Lamante upside down, yeah. I, I just don't like one. Oh, love her. Really? <laughs> yeah. I wonder, guys, if this love here could mean the marriage, right? He's, he's connected to... This could be, there's something here where Ivanka could be involved or it could have to do with how his relationship connects to this, this like, you know, money laundering situation. Let's find out. Okay, so that's, all right. So then, okay, so that's, was that legal? Like I said, it looks like there's something related to the marriage and receive probably money laundering related to to wanting to receive gifts and he he received gifts in, in the sale the sales that happened related to the real estate okay so next is was his family because this is the thing guys i think this was just his own personal uh tax returns but let's look into his family i was i was thinking about it i saw this with the jamal you know the saudi arabia thing i feel like they are involved it must be involved in some way Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, oh, good. Look. Go to Ausgang in the Liebe. Success and love. Oh, the privacy. <laughs> yeah, private communications. And here's Muller. <laughs> Bitches, you think nobody knows? Nobody can't. <laughs> I put things on Twitter, nobody can't. Yeah, so, so Muller's like, Bitches, I know you. Mm -hmm. You have a relationship. Okay, so again, where's his family involved? Oh, look, again, guys, it's so interesting. Where was the card here? Look, let me compare to show you. This is very similar to this card. Look, Presente de Pietra Preciosa, and this one is receiving gifts. So very different systems, but the same card, okay? So, what is it? Oh, Bambino, weird, I shuffle. Look, I see, it's interesting. Again, Trump, the shade of baby. Oh, no, really? No, no, no. No, no. No, no, stop. <laughs> no, no. So you see, guys, this, I wonder, you know, I don't think this is, I don't think this is his dad because his dad is super shady. And this guta hair, that means a person who wants the good, right? Who was a good person. So, and then the, I think this is Mueller, really, okay? Because this is like intimate communications related to Trump. There's an ending here because of the gifts. See, this is like the deals and the gifts are connected to the real estate sales, right? So that's what those, um, that's what those uh, tax returns indicated the sales. So when you look at the sales, this is how they receive the payments, right? This is a classic money laundering technique for money. Okay, so. <laughs> so the answer is the family, yes, but I think the family, it's, it's telling me about Trump. I was thinking of his own dad, but I think here it's mostly Trump. Okay, so no. <laughs> Jared? Jared? Okay, so, but I, guys, I have to laugh. Okay, I have to go crazy, otherwise there's no release. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go back and have more questions. Questions about Gerard. <laughs> okay, guys, so now moving on to what does it mean for Jared? I guess meaning, what does this mean for Jared that this um, this stuff was, that this was, um, exposed okay 
Here we have change. This is a baby Trump. This is a, oh, this how is one that would be him. Okay, since he's the person that we're asking about. So changed to him and Trump. It's interesting that these the cards show that his fate and Trump's fate is interconnected. The stunts again means a confidential communication, private meeting, office, okay. Amalato, that means sick. Like, he's sick. There's nothing he can do, okay? This is also when he's upside down, means you're sick. Whatever sickness you may have is getting worse. And what else? Oh, look, Bridjana, yeah. He's going to jail. <laughs> really? Zero, though. That means we're going to jail. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> he's such a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not him, no. So see, the impri it's interesting because it's also saying this points an emotional picture inside. See, privately, he's sick. He knows it's over. He's going to jail. So that's what it means for Jared. <laughs> no, no, no. Jared? Jared? <laughs> You're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitches. Mm -hmm. Zail time coming. <laughs> okay. So, guys, the next question I asked was so, what it will be. In a way, the question I asked, since I had already written it out, I thought we know I might as well just ask, but it's, in many ways, it's redundant. Because it was already answered, I think. So here we have Ein Langevig, so a long way. Here we have Gericht, that's, that means um, court. And here we have Seine Gedanken, that means his thoughts. Now, I just wanted to show you something that it, it's, so these readings are suggesting that he, the one just before, and this one too, this is him, his, his thoughts are melancholia. So he's very depressed now, it shows, okay? Because this is a second a question yet again showing that he's depressed and this is miss so this girish that means court right so the messengere it means written news related to work or finances important communications sets timing of events so it means did he probably receive a subpoena of some sort i believe okay so that this is ein langevig that in imeno so that means this is contract connections essentially okay so they, the court is looking to look, it goes way back, looking to his, his, his deals basically. And he's been subpoenaed, he's been notified in some way by the court and he's depressed. Oh my God, Jared. <laughs> cry for him, don't cry, cry for Jared, Argentina. Cry for Jared, he needs tears. <laughs> so, so that's that guys, I don't, I cried too much for him already. But that's it. That's what it looks like for Jared. Okay, so so your time is coming. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Bye, Jared. Bye.